What's up my friends, Paul here, back at you with another installment on my multi-year quest to finish the main storyline in Fallout 4. As many of you may have heard from the homeroom announcements video I posted a couple of weeks ago, Starfield glitched out on me to the point where it broke my game. Now some people had suggested that I could uninstall it and reinstall it and that might fix it, but honestly, is that what I have to do to make a game that I paid $99 for to actually work? Not gonna happen, and what if my game saves are lost? I mean, there's all kinds of scenarios and I'm not going to be going through 75 levels again to get back to where I was. I'm just really disappointed in Bethesda and their ridiculous bugs and glitches, you know? No other game company could get away with this level of incompetence. They just make such beloved and memorable games that everyone just keeps giving them another chance. At least with Fallout 4, we can use some of the glitches to our advantage to make building even better than the developers intended. That's the reason Fallout 4 will always have a special place in my heart. But I do want to finish the main storyline, if nothing else, than for posterity. And as I said in that past video, I'll probably just wait until it eventually becomes available on the PS5 as well, and then at least there'll be a broader audience, you know what I mean? And who knows, maybe by then they'll have pulled off a No Man's Sky and made all the necessary improvements to make it more playable and enjoyable. In the meantime, Fallout 4 is still one of my favorite legacy games, and as long as you guys still watch the videos and support the channel, I'll still do my part to keep it alive. But as of now, it's back to Fallout 4 full time. And that's okay, because there was still so much more I wanted to do with the building, not to mention just finishing the main storyline, which we'll take another step towards in this video. Before we get started though, I'm going to teleport back to the schoolhouse so we can take a quick peek at this month's Wall of Fame. As you guys have seen by now, I feature the names of my amazing Patreon supporters each month on this here Wall of Fame, and here is the Student Council this month. Just wanted to say thank you all for your continued support. I really appreciate it. It actually does pay the bills for the channel and keeps the channel going. Especially since I ran into such a strange transition period, you know, trying out some other games to see if we could expand on things, you know, but I just keep coming back to Fallout 4. You guys love it, I love it, so we keep on going with it. Anyway, if you want to join the Student Council, I'll put a link down below to the Patreon page. There's also an iCard above. Any little bit helps, even a dollar. And if you can't afford that even, a like and a subscribe is always appreciated. Okay, so when we last left off, I believe we are about to embroil ourselves in the Battle of Bunker Hill. Yep, there we go. All right, so let's fast travel to a place that's pretty close to it. I don't want to jump right into the battle or something. So let's head over to Weatherby Savings and Loan. Good. <laughs> the lookout still patrolling. <laughs> okay, so let's... Oh, boy. Let's deal with these raiders real quick. So there's just one. Okay, we're good to go. Some people over there, I don't need to mess with them. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta talk to this guy. Hey, Synth. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, the line at the car wash was super long. Took me forever. Your attempt at humor is wasted. <laughs> no, it's Targets not. are inside. Four synths under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. We move in. Secure the synths, and I relay out with them back to the Institute. Clear? The mission's parameters just changed. We're going shooting. Requesting backup relay now. All right, so I'm going to kind of let him get killed by the Bunker Hill people. I'm going to take out the synths. Bird a bird. Is the Brotherhood getting involved? Oh boy. Is 
Sorry to shoot you in the back, buddy, but <laughs> you're in my way. Okay, so there's a railroad person. I want to keep these people on my good, in my good graces. So let's go save them a little bit. Did that vertebrate crash? Oh, there it is. Oh, they're dropping in like flies. Okay, I got a little bit. Oh, the poor Brahmin's on fire. Goodness. There you go, buddy. Run. Hey, now. Okay, I think they're going to pretty much just keep coming. So I'm going to jump down into this basement because I think this is where we need to go next. Aren't you glad I skipped those long <laughs> loading scenes? Oh, my goodness. It's an all-out war down here. Who's fighting who here? Alright, so there's a Brotherhood person. Okay, so the machine guns are going to be probably shooting at me. Because they see me with uh, this guy. So I'm not going to take them out. But I am going to try to get around. See, he's not hostile to me. That's good. Come on, let me through. Let me through so I don't get mowed down. Goodness gracious. Okay, there we go. I hate seeing the blood droplets on the screen. <laughs> they look like floaters or something. All right, here we go. Okay, who should we talk to here? You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just, just don't. Why are you so afraid? I don't want to go back. Please, don't make me go back. Relax. You're free to go. R really? Okay, so that turned him hostile to me. Alright, that was pretty easy. Nobody died. I like those coarser uniforms. Okay, I don't need to loot this place, but what do I do next? I can't believe you do that for us. Thank you. Okay, so one of two things is happening. Either they're not leaving because there's still a fight, or uh, let me just get out of here and, well, first of all, let me check my... Okay, so it gave me another option now. Deal with the escape sense, which means kill him, or speak with father at the ruins. In the Speak with father in the ruins of CIT? Oh, not the Institute. Interesting. Okay. All right. I don't think I can fast travel out of here. So let me go ahead and run out of here again. See, it's not hostile to me anymore. That's awesome. Whoa. So who's throwing grenade? Okay. There we go. At some point, I'm going to have to go back and, uh... Oh, it's a legendary. That's pretty cool. I was just going to say, at some point, I got to go back to Nuka World and get some more of this ammo. Fusion cores, I'll take it. Easy money, since I don't use power armor. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so the first thing I think I'm gonna do is head back to the railroad and just check in with them because I got a bunch of quests going on simultaneously and uh, I'm not sure what the order of them to take care of is. So maybe she can, maybe Desdemona can update me a little bit. Half of you know this already, but something so big. I can't ask people to keep it secret any longer. The rumor is true. One of our agents has made it inside the Institute. Is this what Tinker Tom was working on? Yes, Tom's work is related. But the device and the assembly was the Wanderer's doing. After the device was assembled, he made it inside the Institute. And then back out. Where is the Institute? We're not sure exactly. Best guess is that it's somewhere under the old CIT. But they've been using a teleportation device to get in and out, so it could be anywhere. What did he find out? I know you all have questions, but I've said everything I'm going to. But know this, the ops you're planning and running now are the most important of our lives. We have a chance at rescuing more synths than we ever dreamed of. So get it done. You really walk the Freedom Trail? By yourself? We're We've got an emergency. Well. Glory Recently. spotted a courser near Dayton's Probably. safe house. Normally we go to ground at the first sign of a courser. We hide deep, we hide long, until we know we're safe. But we can't abandon your infiltration of the Institute. So we're staying. All that, if you spot a single courser? It sounds extreme, but we've paid dearly for that bit of wisdom. Every time a courser is spotted, death and destruction follows. Go on. It gets worse. Ticonderoga safe house has gone dark, and I need you to check it out. Hopefully this is a milk run. But if you do find a courser there, kill it. If there's no survivors, then your cover remains intact. <laughs> is a milk run the same as a cakewalk? <laughs> is this really worth risking my cover? Glory needs to evacuate Dayton, and you're the only other heavy we have. And if we don't use you now, soon there won't be any railroad left. I'll head out. Good luck, Glory. Pick your team. I could use the dog. That's us. All right, let's head over there. Is someone present? What? What? Who's there? Who's there? Someone there? Must be terminated. Ah, super mutants. Sensor reading Detected. Don't be a good a noise. What? I hear something. The Commonwealth is ours. Please stand still. Okay, I had a little trouble aiming there for some reason. Okay, so they're up above. Let's loot this guy real quick. Oh, okay, so those synth guys probably took out the remainder. Oh, look at that, some goo. <laughs> Nothing too okay. Important, sir. And where is Father Son? Oh look, a pie machine. <laughs> what are the chances I get lucky? Nope. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I just did a loop. How do we get to the roof? Nice. 
All right, you know, while I'm here. So, if we can't get to the roof from up here, I bet it's some kind of situation back on the first floor. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I'm going in loops. All right, it's saying go back outside, but that's a bathroom. Is this it? I bet this is it. This looks different. Yep. Oh, boy. Just give me the run around, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Is that him? Okay. So weird. What are you doing over here, dude? Son, you know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. So why come out here? To put things in perspective, I suppose. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They left me on ice for 60 years. They did, and for good reason. I was the perfect candidate, an infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Interesting. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you, after all this time, attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. Okay, well that's... I did not know that. That's really interesting. Um, it's kind of a little bit pathetic, because why wouldn't he just release me the moment that he was cognizant that I existed? This is science to you? It's pathetic, all of it. I'm sorry you see it that way. Perhaps in time you'll see it differently. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done 
has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We got our asses kicked. Does it matter how? The chances of failing this mission were so astronomically low that yes, it does matter. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which... It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool that he can, you could just zap straight from wherever you are. And the, like, why did we need to set up that teleportation device in the first place? I, I don't know. I guess maybe because we didn't know the destination and you had to lock onto it or something. But um, the other thing he brought up was the Brotherhood. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how they knew and how they got involved. So, because I haven't even dealt with them. I think I told you guys that I had gotten locked out of even dealing with the Brotherhood because of a glitch in that very first quest where I was supposed to meet um, Dance. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's once again take a look at our quests. Okay. Attend directorate meeting. Go to... Eliminate the courser. So at this point, what I'm doing, I believe, is that I'm undergoing some missions for the railroad and also still attempting my mole infiltration of the Institute. So I'm not sure which of these... Yeah, okay, so this is the one that I got locked out of. It just wouldn't, you know, a glitch. It just wouldn't let me continue. But I see there's this one now, too. I haven't done that one. I think what I'm going to focus on is maybe tackling a few quests here and there, maybe some shorter ones. And I also still want to try to um, rescue the synths out of the Institute as well. So this one right here seems like it might be a quick one. So I'm going to toggle that one active and this one unactive and let's just pop over there real quick and see what that whole situation is about <coughs> raider scum I always press the right one by accident when I should be pressing the left one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just instinct. Okay, here we go. I think I've been here before, but it somehow got assigned as a safe house or something by the railroad. Maybe it's random, I don't know. Uh, 
Ah, oh, here we go. Intruder identified. This is a restricted area. Your arrival wasn't in the mission briefing. This irregularity will be reported to Justin Ao. You know who I am, so tell me, what are you doing here? Intelligence indicated this is a railroad base. Perimeter breached and all hostiles eliminated. Currently maintaining surveillance. The SRB sent me to check on you. See if you need help. Mission proceeding according to plan. Ambush set for railroad targets. Prepared to reclaim any synths they possess. Use the stairs to leave. The elevator's been disabled by the second unit. Okay. I'm going to do a quick save real quick. <laughs> and let's go ahead and take these guys out. <laughs> I should use grenades once in a while, but I just I can never remember to do that. So I'm going to go into my inventory and, okay, there we go. Oh, there's a railroad agent. So I am going to do two things real quick. I'm going to go over to, whoops, I'm going to go over to aid, and I'm going to eat a little something something. There we go. And then I thought I had some great mentats. I wanted to be able to see through some walls real quick. Let's see if this increases my perception. Yes, it does. Okay. Addicted? Jeez. No longer. Okay. I guess I could make some real quick, but yeah, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> if you're noticing a little bit of a blur, I think it's because of that uh, feat that I have that has to do with nighttime adventuring, some kind of vampire feat. Oh, I, could, I guess I could unlock that. Yeah, might as well. Sweet. Could be some trivia opportunities. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I wonder if those are code names. So let me go into my perks and tell you what I'm talking about. I also wanted to just see if I had any perks left over, but where is it? Yeah, this one, Night Person. Yeah, I think that's the one that does it. It kind of changes like the luminance and stuff. It's a little bit annoying, but you know. Is that it? Did I, maybe, it's saying go downstairs. So maybe there's some more down in the basement. There we go. Detected. Take Curious. advantage of him while he's stuck. <laughs> Please reveal. I just saw this little robot and I was thinking maybe we can get him to work with us. Here we go. I can't remember if I have to do something or if he's just automatically friendly, but we'll see. Maybe I'll have to shoot him down. <laughs> Powering up. On duty. Okay, seems to be friendly. Let's just keep rolling. Sounded like a whoa, got dark all of a sudden. So much for night person. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. It sounded like a turret. Just for the fun of it. Sensor anomaly detected. Hello. You cannot remain undetected for long. Want to bet? <laughs> Are 
are you attempting an ambush? Appears to be nothing. Perhaps my Is sensors need calibration. Present? Looked like it came from over here, didn't it? Sensors indicating concealed organic life form. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. Oh, I see. There he, he jumped through that door. Okay. That may have been the last guy. Let's see what this terminal has to say real quick. Oh, I was hoping for a reset. Goodness. All right. Considers has three. But it's concealed. I'm through. There we go. Oh, it's just for the safe. Okay. Now I just got to find the safe. There we go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Disengage lock. Okay. There we go. Jeez, wasn't even worth it. Okay, so let's check and see if we're still on that mission or if... Kill all coursers, huh? Okay. Oh, whoops. I'm out of ammo. I knew that was going to happen eventually. <laughs> Kablam! This ought to get him. There we go. <laughs> Love this gun. You just can't use it close range.
Okay, now I think we're finished with that mission. Let's see what it says. Report back to Desdemona, yes. Okay, let's just do that real quick and just see if it's a an actual quest or just one of those repopulating quests. There's a name for those kind of quests and the term is just escaping me. I'll put a pop up for it real quick. Operation Jackpot was a success? Oh, thank God. We were running perilously low on supplies. Ticonderoga was wiped out by coursers. No survivors. All hands lost? God damn it, that's not the news I wanted to hear. Now we're in a race. Can we free the synths before the Institute wipes us out? We've survived this far. We'll make it to the end. Here's hoping. With Tycon down, we're short-handed. If you could spare time from your primary mission, the others could probably use some help. Okay, so what does that mean? Desdemona. Highrise was a good man. So many good men. You got Tom's camera online? The runners are going to find that very useful. Pam, too. Okay, so yeah, that is one of those recurring missions. All right, let's see what we have now. All right, let's do this real quick. Wait, is that a Nuka world? Oh, interesting. I didn't know they could appear in different DLCs like that. Okay, so that's probably one of those recurring missions, so. All right, so let's go ahead and attend this directorate meeting and see what this is all about, and then I'll probably wrap up the episode. Gosh, part of me wants to eliminate the Institute just so I could take over this whole base. This thing is just a badass survival bunker. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's, well, uh, it's important. All right, I'm just following you, father son. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab a seat here. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good. Thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? I don't think so. It's all right. I wouldn't expect you to have. The project has been classified from the beginning. Power is... As I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. 
With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. Right. Such hard times down here. I would never disagree that life in the Institute is better than above ground. We have done much to ensure it. Now, we take things even further. Phase 3 is simply... The activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Nuclear power? That's a disaster waiting to happen. Not in our hands. I assure you this is the answer. This is the future. The reactor is close to ready. But recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to Phase 3. And to how you will help. Sir? Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, Can't be serious. everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. You can't be serious! Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline, insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Well, nepotism. <laughs> 688 sounded very impressed with your work at Libertalia. He doesn't give praise lightly. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the Directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Okay, well, <laughs> when I said earlier that it'd be awesome if I could just take over and <laughs> eliminate the Institute and I could turn this to my own badass survival bunker, I guess <laughs> I was predicting the future. I honestly had no idea that was going to happen. What's this? Oh, I should have hit play. 
Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is actually end the episode here, and I'll pick up next time with playing that holotape, and then we'll see which set of missions we want to take on next. In the meantime, I just want to thank you guys for your patience in getting this episode out. You know, there was that whole transition over from Starfield, you know, getting over some of the technical issues that I had recently, and then all the other things that happened in my personal life that you can check out in my last Home Room Announcements video. But anyway, thank you guys again. Also, super duper shout out again to my Patreons. With YouTube's diminishing revenue, they are definitely helping to keep the channel afloat, so I really appreciate y'all. If you too want to join and see your name on the wall of fame and get a host of other perks as well as keep the channel going and keep fallout 4 alive on uh, youtube then head over to my patreon page and see what you can do every little bit is reinvested in the channel so thank you guys so much i'll see you next time in the meantime stay smart <laughs>